Now that you have seen how to prepare a Bioplex system for optimal data acquisition, let's review the best practices to perform your experiment. Ensure you have sufficient sample volume to run the assay in duplicate or triplicate, whichever is preferred. Always run your standards, blanks, and samples in duplicate or triplicate. Move the samples to another standalone box or rack in the freezer. This step will make it easy to remove the entire box or rack when it is time to run the assay instead of sorting through the samples. Transfer and thaw frozen samples in the refrigerator the night before the experiment or pull them out early enough the day of to thaw completely. Make sure the samples are equilibrated to room temperature before dilution. The kit comes with standard diluent and sample diluent optimized for serum and plasma. For any other sample types, reconstitute the standard using a diluent similar to the sample. For example, when working with tissue culture supernatant samples, use the same cell culture media to reconstitute the standard. Bring diluents, including wash buffer, assay buffer, standard diluent, detection antibody diluent, and sample diluent to room temperature. The magnetic beads and streptavidin PE are light sensitive. Keep them and other items on ice until needed. To protect the diluted beads, wrap tubes in foil or store in a drawer until they're ready to use. Cover the plate with foil during shaking steps to protect the beads from light. Use the volumes recommended in the relevant Kit Quick Guide for sample dilutions, capture detection, etc. These kits have been optimized for performance. Dilute the samples just prior to delivery to the plate. Use either tighter tubes or a separate 96 well plate to set up replicates. Use a calibrated multi channel pipette to save time and ensure uniform sample delivery. Finally, ensure the instrument is calibrated and ready to go.